the 10 trillion budget for the financial year 2012-2013 failed to sail through Parliament yesterday evening. The plenary sitting ended beyond 9 p.m. with no solutions to MPs' demands. The lawmakers insisted that government allocates an extra 260 billion shillings to cater for the salaries and the recruitment of health workers. Most of the hospitals have become white elephants. That was the notion of the, 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 the sectoral committee to work with the executive to ensure that 260 billion has been identified. It was not identified. Places where the money was being cut were places where there was this issue of entertainment, stationery, hiring of venues, buying of chairs, special meals and refreshments, those are now wines. And we said let us remove this money and we put it specifically into the sector. And what we are doing as, by the way, as a parliament, we are saying let us now aim at service delivery. But we have found that what is not deterred by the law is permissible. So parliament is empowered by law. Some individuals who are beneficiaries of those wasteful expenditures, they will never support this at all. Perhaps resulting from this move, President Museven has today summoned the NRM MPs to meet at State House Sentebe on Monday next week. It is true, I have just received the message that he has summoned us to go to Entebbe on Monday. There is no clear agenda for the meeting, but the MPs insist that they will not be deterred until the money is found. Is that a very bad idea? Will you call me rebel for that? Will you say I'm becoming a bit and cooperative and I am telling you we have to stop being selfish? That is it. Even if they removed some money from my salary. President Museven is expected to persuade the MPs to approve the appointment of Kayunga Woman MP Aida Nantaba as minister after the Appointments Committee of Parliament suspended her approval. The meeting is expected to address the Karuma Hydropower Project, which has stalled due to the confusion arising from the bidding process. The meeting also comes a few days after the party lost the Butambala by election, which for long has been occupied by the NRM ruling party. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.